why don't you stick around and see how you can make five gallons of laundry detergent for three dollars and fifty cents. You're going to need a five gallon bucket, one Zote bar, which is 14.1 ounces, one bar of Fells naphtha, which is five ounces, and I have grated both of these soaps in this container. I just used my hand grater. This is the Zote soap. It's a lot softer than the Fells naphtha. The yellow is the Fells naphtha soap. Again, just one bar of each. We're going to melt the soap on the stovetop in a stainless steel pot. To the pot, we're going to add the shredded soap. And then I will be adding some water to the soap shreds so we can melt those on the stovetop. Just going to add some water here. There's no specific amounts. Just enough water so the soap doesn't burn to the pan. If I had to guess, I would say three to four cups of water is what I'm adding. I'm not one to work off of precise measurements for this purpose. Stir it around, make sure you have enough water in there. Mm, that's good enough. We're just going to take this over to the stove and turn it on um, a medium heat just to get it warmed up. Again, medium heat on the stove and just periodically stir it. Now I will caution you, you don't want to leave this unattended and if it gets too warm, those soap suds will boil over your pan. In the meantime, we are going to fill our five gallon bucket halfway with some warm water. Just halfway. We will be filling it all the way up in the end, but for right now, we're just going half. You can have the water between warm and hot. No specific temperature is needed. to that halfway mark now. I will be shutting the water off. And we're going to go back to those soap shreds that are cooking on the stove top. Stir it around to help melt those pieces of soap in there. Again, don't leave this unattended or you're going to have a mess on your hands. We're going to measure out one and a half cups of washing soda and one and a half cups of borax. I've just measured them here in this large white container. I'm just breaking up the clumps here with my fingers. Makes it easier to blend it in when we add it to the bucket. that soap on the stove. Keep stirring it. It is starting to melt and dissolve, but there's still a few pieces left in there that need to dissolve completely.
All right, I think we are completely dissolved now. I don't see any fragments of either soap left in here. Just a nice liquid soap. We're gonna be adding this to that half five gallon bucket of warm water. bring the liquid soap over and we're just going to pour it directly into the five gallon bucket of water. You're going to want something long and sturdy to stir your liquid with. I have this homemade paddle that one of our sons made, which works great. I'm just going to stir that around really well. Next, we will be adding that one and a half cups of borax and washing soda. want to give that a nice good mixing. This is where your long utensil will come in handy. Just make sure it's completely dissolved till it no longer sounds like sand scratching the bottom of the bucket. This is a simple soap with water, washing soda, borax, and the soaps that we melted on the stove. Now we're gonna fill up the bucket the rest of the way with hot, warm to hot water. Now as we're filling the bucket, it does create some suds, but if you simply just turn the water off and wait a minute or two, the suds fall down pretty quickly. You can see here the suds are building. I'm going to shut the water off and just give it a minute or two to settle down and then we'll finish adding the rest of the water. almost see before your eyes the bubbles settling down. It does start to thicken more like a detergent or a heavy soap. Which is what you want. We're going to finish adding the rest of the water. Usually leave an inch to two inches clearance to the top of the bucket. Stir it really well. And then we are simply just going to put the lid on the bucket and let it sit for 24 hours. It's really that easy to make your own homemade liquid laundry soap. I'm just cleaning up my mess before I put the lid on. We'll come back to it tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. Let's check this out. 
the soap has gone through the gel phase. It's firm to touch. It's like a big glop of solid gel in here. This is what you want. This means you did it right. I'm going to take my paddle again and we're just going to start breaking this up and stirring it to liquefy it. It's kind of tough to do it one-handed, so use two hands. But it breaks up really easily. Kind of have to work at it a little bit. It will resemble egg drop soup, which is normal. This breaks up pretty easily, but you could always use an immersion blender to make it really smooth. Here I'm using both hands to mix it better. If there's any glops in your liquid soap that will not affect anything, it'll clean just as well. I have saved an old laundry detergent jug so that I can fill that from the five gallon bucket so it's easier to use. Use about one cup of soap per large load of laundry. Of course, use a little bit more if your laundry is heavily soiled. That's how you make homemade laundry soap. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.